Cover Marchi here. This is your CCC update for August 21st, 2023. That's Cooper's Credit Crew. <laughs> Matilda told me about this week's, last week's adventures. They decided to take the train to visit Niagara Falls in New York, since it's somewhere she's always wanted to visit. Petunia's parents, who live in Canada, said to go to the Canadian side to experience a taste of Canada on their little trip. The train trip was fun, but took quite a bit of time. Matilda had researched the boat trip under the falls, bought tickets in advance, and booked all into the revolving restaurants and observation deck overlooking the falls. They arrived at the Canadian border and got their passports ready for the border patrol to check. All except Nelson, who had left his on the table with his wallet back in Shelburne. To cover up his error, he tried to sweet-talk the Border Patrol officer and then offered her money. <coughs> no one could believe what he was doing and thought he would land everyone in jail. Thankfully, all they had to do was turn around and try to find accommodation for a few days on the American side. Disappointed, they didn't get to visit Canada, but they had a wonderful time. The falls were formed over 12,000 years ago and more than 280,000 liters of water plummets into the Niagara River every second. They got a boat ride under the falls and also got accommodation in a quaint village of Lewiston. So all turned out well apart from Matilda getting stuck with the bill. <laughs> in the UK, the races were held on Sunday, a beautiful sunny day. Lots of friends turned up. Larry won both the foot race and the drone race. Their neighbor again made treats. This week she made biscuits, scones, and lots of fruit platters. Earl, of course, heard about the train trip, but he couldn't accompany everyone since he had previous plans. But he made sure everyone went to see Squirrely the Tailor to get fitted for custom rain suits for their trip on the Maid of the Mist boat. Apparently, rain suits are supplied free of charge, but Earl insisted that everyone dressed in style for the boat ride. The Maid of Mist... Made of the Mist is a sightseeing boat tour of Niagara Falls starting and ending on the American side, crossing briefly into Canada during a portion of the trip. The fleet currently consists of two vessels, both of which were launched in 2020. The James D B. Glynn was named in honor of the Maid of the Mist chairman and CEO, who in 2020 celebrated 70 years with the company, and, Nikola, and the Nikola Tesla for the man who invented the alternating current AC motor, the standard form of electricity that is used in American homes to this day. Prior to the current two boats, all prior ships had been named Made of the Mist, dating back to, the, to 1846. The first ships were steam-powered. These were replaced by diesel-powered vessels from 1955 until 2019, and later replaced with the current two boats powered by lithium-ion battery-powered motors. Yesterday was one of the few nice days we've had lately in Shelburne, so everyone took advantage of it and showed up for the races at Marcher Downs. Burl and Squirletariat were victorious. I hope you all have a good week, and please be kind to one another. Cooper Marchie here. Ciao.